Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. I have a cooking day today and I thought I'd show you what I did. The way we cook has definitely changed over the last few weeks and I thought I'd show you some of the tips and tricks that we've been using here at our house. We're hoping to only make a trip to the grocery store once every three or four weeks. So I wanted to show you some of the things that we're doing so that we can stay away from the grocery stores as much as possible. When we do our groceries, we always pick fruit and vegetables that we can eat the first week fresh. The second week, we pick vegetables and fruits that hopefully can last a little bit longer, like apples and oranges and grapefruits. By the third week, we're eating more frozen fruit and vegetables. And sometimes things like squash or turnip, that seems to last well in the pantry. So that's sort of how we're trying to get away with going for um, three to four weeks. Strategically speaking, we have to use things up in the right order so that things don't go bad. So for instance, um, there was mushrooms on sale for four for five dollars and we grabbed those. So the first couple of days we made omelets with them and then I made a double batch of chicken a la king. So we're gonna eat that for tonight's supper and as well for tomorrow night's supper. We also have some frozen tomatoes from our garden last year, as well as frozen green peppers and they work perfect for soup. So I made a double batch of stuffed pepper soup and I'm gonna put that in the freezer. And this soup actually freezes really nicely. When you eat this, it tastes really good to top it with some rice. I actually had some leftover chicken broth that I wanted to use up at the same time. So I used some broccoli that was in our freezer from our garden as well. And I made some potato broccoli soup for my daughter's lunches. I also made a batch of broccoli potato soup for my daughter. And I'm just gonna freeze these in these containers so that they're frozen into serving sizes. And then once they're frozen, I'm gonna pop them all into one Ziploc baggie. So that, that way we can take out one serving size at a time. So I'm really in the mode of not wasting anything. So once I open a container like chicken broth to make something, I definitely wanna make something with the rest of it before it goes bad. I also made some bran raisin muffins to pop in the freezer so that my daughter can take these when she's in a rush to head off to work. 